Why would a child hate a loving parent? This is what my sign said on my journey through the streets of San Francisco and the campus of UC Berkeley. I wanted people to think, how would it be possible to turn a child against a loving parent without true justification? Because this is what happened to me. For 20 years, I was alienated from my dad and I missed a lot of time with him. So that's why I speak out about this abuse. Join me on this journey as we find out what people in California Think about shared parenting and parental alienation. It sounds like what you're going through might be parental alienation, which is what happened to me when I was nine years old. During my parents' divorce, my mom manipulated me to completely reject my dad, and for the next 20 years, I rejected him. And this is actually a really common phenomenon. that Not many people know their term, so we're out here just educating people and uh, also about shared parenting. Can I ask you a question about that? Yeah. Do you think it's important for divorced parents to have equal custody and shared parenting? Yes. Yes. And why, why do you think that is important? That way the child doesn't get confused on certain rules on both parents' side. You know, you go visit over here, you can do something over here, but you go visit the other parent and you can't do it. They should be on one page. You know, discipline, schoolwork, medical. Like for me, it's I haven't picked them up from school, but we stay down the highway. Yep. And like, it's my weekend to have them and he had a panic attack because he wanted his mom. And now that he's supposedly diagnosed with ADHD and ADD, now he's on Adderall at seven years old. And I was told about it, and it was up in the air about putting him on it, but come to find out, he's actually on it and they're giving it to him. Or she's, you know, she's giving it to him. And I was told she was thinking about it, not told that she was going to put him on. So just being on the same page, like both parents and having like adult conversations, you know, with the other parent, just making sure everybody's on the same page. But Absolutely. It sounds like there might be some medical decision making that is not being done together. Um, that's really common, actually. It's more about meeting that person, knowing what that person's about and feeling like you can trust that person with your child, not only just trust in the judgment of the other parent mm -hmm. because sometimes it's not always a good judgment and the other parent might not see what's going on because of the lust for that other person that's in the life. Mm -hmm. I think co-parenting is a huge thing too like sometimes maybe that's not how it was for them if they had divorced parents so co-parenting sometimes isn't looked at as something as a positive thing it's mm -hmm. more of a negative thing mm -hmm. um, which co-parenting should be a positive thing because it's you know to do with the kids like the most important thing is is like the outcome of you know how things are going to be for the kids not us as adults but more for the kids absolutely i that's why i started my project i've seen a lot of people talk about how harmful it is for the parents, but when you tell your child that their father or their mother is bad or doesn't love them or they can't trust them, the child usually internalizes that self-hatred and that self-hatred self and self-rejection, and it's so detrimental to the child. I started this project. I have resources on YouTube, and we have a website. We have a support group for kids, for people who've grown up to realize this has happened to them. I want a t-shirt. It's <laughs> That's awesome. Putting stickers and because I play slow pitch softball so I put stickers on my pitcher's helmet to advertise. Oh awesome. Let me get you a t-shirt. I have one actually.